the second section of basics of management under the transportation of industrial management subject is uh, covers business uh, business organizations and classification of business organization and also sole trading concerns its advantage disadvantages and last part is uh, partnership and its advantage and its First, we should know the meaning of business. In general, term, business means uh, the buying and selling. But, uh, it covers other things. In general, business may be defined as uh, activities in which uh, different persons uh, exchange something for value, whether goods or services, for mutual gains or profit. Earlier barter system. Now it is an exchange system again. Here, given activities, what type of activities? Exchanging activities. For what? For certain values. Either it may be a goods or service. For mutual gain and profit. It can also be defined as an enterprise engaged in the production and distribution of goods or sales, goods for sales in market and rendering service for a price. Production also comes under the business and trade also comes under the business and other services like insurance, banking also comes under the business. Therefore, business are here three parts. One is the industry, another one is the trade, and third one is the commerce. In the industry means, otherwise industry means converting of raw material in semi-finished or finished goods. Sometimes the industries are manufacturing semi-finished semi goods. At semi-finished goods, may be a raw material for some industries. And second one is a buying and selling of commodities. Purchasing from some place or some, uh, some companies and then selling that same product into the some other or end users. In between they are getting certain margin of profit. That type is known as a trade. And last one is a commerce. The industry requires some activities, allied activities like insurance, transportation, accounts, finance. These all comes under the commerce. Therefore, the business will be three types. One is the industry, trade, and last one is the commerce. But what factors affecting the business also? In, if you want to start any business or business organization, some factors will be affected. First one is the size and nature of business to be started. What type of or what size, large scale or small scale, and what nature. And second one is the technical difficulties arise in the business. Depending on that, the organization will be. Then, third one is the marketing condition. What is the demand for the part, that articles or product in the market? Or what type of competitions are prevails? Either stiff competition or low competitions, depending on that, the business organization will be. And how much capital is required? How much fund is required and how it will be collected? In case of sole traders, individual to invest on the business. In case of large amount is required, means the capital will be gathered from the, the bank or issuing the shares or issuing the debentures. According to that, the business organization will be. Next, limitations and restrictions means 
if you want to start any organization business there are some government policies to getting the license and foreign exchange and pollution norms etc these limitations and restrictions also affect say business organization so how this business organizations are classified it will be broadly classified into two ways one is a private sector and another one is a public sector under the private sector the business organizations are again divided into four types first one is a individual ownership otherwise sole proprietorship individual can invest for business and stuff that he is the boss for that company and he can take the decision so that is a individual ownership small business may be start a small industry may be started by investing by single person that type is known as individual individual ownership also second one is a partnership organization the people come together and invest on the industries otherwise start an organization by investing or by sharing their requirements of the business that type is known as a partnership organization Large stock company. In case of private sector, the members of the family can join together and invest on that. That type of organization is known as a joint stock company. The members involved in the private sector joint stock companies more than the partnership organizations. And last one is a cooperative organization. the housing cooperative societies farmers cooperative societies are comes under the cooperative society organizations this organization will be started only to render service to their members as well as uh, it does not uh, its uh, aim is not to earn profit uh, it is only service these four are the comes under the private sector organizations individual ownership so or sole proprietorship partnership organization joint stock companies and cooperative organizations second is public sector public sector mean it is owned by the state government of central government under that departmental organization there are some departmental which will become under the ownership of a state state trust government owned departments and second one is a public corporations of statutory companies and government companies and last one is a third sector this four comes under the public sector departmental organizations public corporations government companies and non stock and sector if you go for sole trade or individual ownership sole trade single person will be owner for this here one person invest the money alone and start the business he himself is a manager for or manages the business whatever the profit he keeps or there may be a loss you want to bear it Maybe here profit or loss that will be goes to the individual who are the investor or proprietor for that business. In case uh, success or failure of the business uh, largely depends on ability of of the person who will be invested and also its interest and enthusiasm of an of the owner. Therefore, sole trading is mainly depends on. Business person will be invest on that. Its abilities, its interest, its enterprise. And application this type of industry, where to start? Otherwise, sole trading will be applied. 
in small enterprises require small capital, which can be spared by one person. Small investment is enough, and that can be spared by a single person. And where risk requires not too heavy, the application of cold trading is the business which are less risk. Because in this system, risk involved is a bit high. And where the management by one man is possible, means all managing activity will be done by a single person. Then you can start with the sale, uh, sole trade on stock market share. Next up, sole trade concerns. Sole trade are having certain advantages. It will be easily formed because single owned and also less legal restrictions compared to partnership or other type of organization. Efforts and rewards are directly related. What are the efforts required and what are the outcomes like rewards are directly related to the single man. Owners are in touch with the customers. He is a boss and he will always uh, contact the customers. He will be know the likings and dislikes of the customers. Since it is supervised by a proprietorship himself, the overheads are very less and products can be sold at a cheap. There is a one boss, he is himself, the proprietor, he supervises everything and controlled by himself. And whatever the cost involved for these all activities will be comes down. Or it is a very less because of single man will be doing all those things. Then the product cost also comes down. mostly operate on monopoly. There is a no competition. The single person will be dominate the market. Because the person who is a proprietor, he will be having certain trade secret. And that secret also maintained easily. Because a single person will be know that secret. Can be maintained over a long period. Otherwise it is known as a, a formula formula or some patent that idea will be known by him only. Next time, it offers full freedom of work. Single person will be handling, therefore he having the freedom to freedom of work. He can take decisions. And also decision will be taken quickly. Is the boss himself, he will be take the decision, and whatever the decision taken, it will be fine. He taken, it is the final decision. Therefore, this is an advantage. These are the advantages of the sole trade funds. And also, it is having certain disadvantages. Limited amount of capital. Only one person want to, uh, one person to invest. Therefore, all business will be started. In case of large business, investment is required more. This is the main limitations of limitation of trading is a factor. Owner cannot be a master of all techniques like management, sales, engineering. The single person, single mind will be working on that. Therefore, he is not a master in all. The failure will be occurs because of it lack of knowledge in certain field like management, sales or engineering. And the quality of work will be suffered. And due to unlimited liability, there is a heavy risk. Single person handling, the liabilities is more than you want to face heavy risk. These are the few disadvantages of sole trading concern or sole proprietor, single then we go for the second type of organization is a partnership. 
in this organization, partnership organization, few of the disadvantage will be eliminated. Of the disadvantage itself, given that the capital investment is less in case of sold, where it will be tried to remove the disadvantage of sole traders. One is on the capital. Partnership is the relationship between the persons decides for starting a business, and they combine together. Increase their resources. Resources is not only a capital; it is a labor, skill, ability, knowledge. Right. Therefore, these all things will be joined by joining the membership. The success of the partnership depends upon mutual confidence among the partners. their understandings their cooperations and adjustment of the members members to accommodate and appreciate each other's views so the only depends the members who are joined together in the partnership their confidence level value maybe understanding level, cooperation and adjustment of the members to accommodate then in case of sole trading single person but here the people are joined together there may be some agreement is required why it is required to get the strong foundation for the organization to avoid any complication at a later stage the constitution of the company may be written in an agreement form the agreement will be made among the partners for this best partnership the number of partners should not be more than 6 or less the whatever the agreement form is there that agreement form is known as a partnership t and registration also must in case of partners that terms and condition will be written in the agreement form and that agreement form itself is a partnership deal then what are the advantages of a partnership form it can be formed without much legal formalities and without heavy expenditure of organization and staff compared to other type of organization like joint stock companies or cooperative societies it has less legal formalities and it requires less expenditure this type of organization enjoys more freedom and is not subject to the strict government supervision the organization enjoys the more freedom than the joint stock company and also less restrictions or less less supervision by the government due to more number of owners the amount of capital is can be collected is more than the sole trade the members are more in number than investment also otherwise capital is also in this type of organization person processing uh, processing different abilities and skills come together the partners or members of the partnership having different types of skills and abilities that will be come together that will be utilized for run the business so more manager ability the affairs of firms can be easily kept secret in the business affairs it will be kept secret among the partners these are the advantages of a partner and what are the limitations of a partnership due to unlimited ability or risk 
due to the unlimited liability of risk involved with in war. Unlimited liabilities. As compared to the compared to the sole trader, unlimited liabilities there. And also risk is involved with in in case of death of or retirement of any one partner directly affect to the organization. Otherwise, once uh, certain cases uh, the business partnership organization may come to an end also. And it can raise much less capital comparison with the concept of capital. Whatever the capital required, here the members are less in number. Is capital is based, it's compared to the joint stock company, it is less. Sometimes, due to the, some misunderstanding or friction among the partners, which affects adversely on the efficiency and expansion of business. All the partners are jointly and severely liable for all the act of. And liable for the acts of the partner who is placed in charge of the management. Thus, sometimes mistakes of one partner may cause a big loss for all the partners. Small mistake of single person in the partnership may lead to the sometimes the closure of business, otherwise, heavy loss for the partnership. I thank for again to the Vyar Nadraj, our chairman, moderator. Be